Attorneys make 10 times the money when a property goes through probate. So I always turn blue in my face telling people why they should spend two, three, four thousand dollars with my firm to do a very comprehensive trust plan. When I know I could just make 10 times the money, you know, so there are a lot of people out there um, that will sell or do just a will, simple will for someone. And either they've educated the person and the person doesn't care, you know, like they don't want to spend the couple of thousand dollars or they don't understand and they just do the will. But what happens is, is they do the will and then they pass and then the girl or guy's, you know, attorney's name is on the document of the will. And then they call them up and say, hey, they're telling me I need to probate my mom's house. And the attorney's like, yes, mom wouldn't pay me the extra two, 3,000, but now you're gonna pay me $31,000. And it's literally that expensive. So let me actually explain one thing, because for realtors, this is something you guys really, I feel you should know. If someone dies in California and there's one, and there's a property, let's just say I died and I own a property, okay? And it's in my name, it's under Shoddy Schaefer, a single woman. Okay, the property, the probate fees on that home is based on the market value. So, okay, so I could owe the bank at time of my death, 800,000, right? There could be an $800,000 mortgage loan on that property. So what's my equity? 200,000, right? But the probate court is gonna base the value of the legal fees and the probate fees on the market value. Why? Well, it's the liability of the asset you're dealing with. So they're gonna base it on, and let's say in the marketplace, my house would, could sell for a million, okay? So the probate fees on just a million dollar asset, hold your pants or your skirts <laughs> or whatever you're wearing, $31,000. When I tell that to people, they're always astonished. And I'll be honest with you, I was practicing for about five years. And when I got my first case like that, I was like, there's gotta be some, I was like, wait a minute. $31,000, that's the fee. And um, the entry fee to probate in California is 3,000. Now, I just want you guys to understand, I'm just talking general numbers. It could be 2,500 or 3,200, but I'm gonna just average this stuff. Across the board, the entry fee in California, let's make the reference to Disneyland. Expensive to get in, even more expensive once you're in, right? You go anywhere in Disneyland inside and you're like, holy cow. It's the same analogy with probate court. I have to ask for clients to give us a $3,000 retainer and that that's just for the cost and fees. A, not a penny of that goes into our pocket. And by the way, this is kind of the standard practice across the board. So it's not like you're gonna run around trying to interview attorneys thinking one person's gonna charge you less because it's set by the court per the code, okay? So they just look up the address. They don't care what the debt is on there. It's a million dollars, that's a 30. So now the attorney makes $31,000 on the $1 million property value.